He comes in as a oversized person for his weight class, but maintains his weight well, has no issues cutting. When he gets into the ring, his tactician skills from his footwork, ring placement, ring positioning is solid. He outsmarts most people by staying within his mechanisms, and he's so far ahead of the people. People, people don't realize what you saw in his last fight, he's lapped the entire weight class, right? It's now, he's at that Floyd Mayweather level where he can go into a ring and not get touched and win a fight to conserve his body and conserve his energy. In my opinion, I put him past Silva at this point, given he has one more title defense, he's, he's beat him or he's tied him at this point. Um, the style in which he dominates the fights and takes less damage is more reminiscent than, than Floyd, more to Floyd than is to Anderson. Anderson took a lot of damage. Everybody remembers when he broke his leg on that leg kick. He got knocked out multiple times. He stayed past his prime. Um, you look at John Jones, he's an athletic freak, but he is off the, you know, out the cage antics destroyed his career. And within a game where he is the marquee value maker for other fighters around him, like like he's raising his pay. The guy he just fought got his biggest payday after yeah. the last fight saying, give me Izzy, I'm broke, Joe. That's why I said that in the ring. He literally said, Joe, I'm broke. That's why I fought so hard. Because I, I ain't got no money, I'm broke. So you talk about somebody who's changing the game in MMA, he's doing it. Plus his YouTube, plus he's flashy. He taps into the market of our generation being anime fans, the young kids that are on that Jake Paul, Logan Paul, YouTube crap. He grids it all together. He is the most electrifying fighter the UFC has at this point.